Sandiford was uh, founded uh, in around 1837 uh, as a company in 1840, one of the oldest companies in Australia. My name is Peter Prendival, and together with my wife and my family, we've been involved with Sandiford since 1991. Uh, really, Sandiford had only ever had one significant owner before that, and that was the Rowe family, John Septimus Rowe and his descendants. They had it from 1840 all the way through to 1990. The Swan Valley, we've always seen, has been a unique opportunity to present one of the largest wine tourism assets in the country that uh, is only a short distance from the International Airport and 15, 20 minutes from the city. It's the quality of the fruit that comes off the Margaret River vineyard that was planted in 1971, so some of the oldest vineyards in the state. And particularly with the Cabernets off the Margaret River block, the Shiraz that comes off that particular site and the Chardonnay, we think we've got uniqueness in terms of the quality of the fruit that actually goes in the bottle. Testimony to that is the fact that the wines have won so many awards over the past 15, 20 years. They're sought out. Sandiford must be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, gold plate winner in the state. It's been a national winner of tourism awards. Sandiford has focused on areas uh, where our wines are well known. Sandiford is a global brand that's shipped all around the world and I'm surprised myself when sometimes I go to a country and there's Sandiford on the wine list. We love what we do. My name's Ross Pammett, head winemaker at Sandiford Wines. I've been in the industry about 25 years, so I've effectively worked most of my career in the valley. In picking starts, we usually have a team up to 20 people. We're busily picking fruit. We generally finish by mid-morning, so it's nice and cool to live to the winery, and we'll process that straight away. As the fruit ripens and comes closer to picking, I'm spending every day to every second day out checking the fruit and really trying to nail down that picking time. As much as winemaking is considered an art, it is very much science-based chemistry and microbiology, basically. My first instinct is to do what I think is relative to taste. With more experience, you could probably get to a point where you've had enough experience that I'm confident that this is the right way to go. What makes Sandiford unique is our proximity to the Perth CBD. We're only half an hour from the centre of Perth, which makes us quite a unique tourist destination. Here at Sandiford, we're one big family. Uh, my name is Alan Sabagnolo. I'm the executive chef at Sandiford Winery. I've been here for two years and in the industry for about 30 years. Really love the new restaurant. That was part of the reason that attracted me to come here. And having that open kitchen so you've got that connection with the customers. We have interaction with the customers all day long. Local, fresh, sustainable, in season, and it's got to taste good. I grew up with farms around me, you know, an Italian background. It's always about food, always about producing your own food and the flavour of that food. So tomatoes, olives, whatever they are, you know, it's got to be the best. We talk to our, our clients, see what they want, and we build functions around them and what their needs are. It's not too many places I think you can go away when you're doing big functions where you go, wow, that food was actually really great. And this is what we try to do. We do four menus a year here, seasonal obviously. And when I say seasonal, it doesn't start on the first of the month because that's not how seasons work here. We change our menus, it might be two weeks into the season or whatever it is, but it's based on the actual product and when it's going to be its best for us to start. I like people to walk away and just go, that was really good. Because you already have that expectation when you walk or come in the door, so to over deliver on that, that's, that's what I hope, that's what I like. When people just go, wow, I walk through the restaurant and people will just stop me and just go, oh my God, the food, phenomenal. There's nowhere else. I'd rather be. I'm Deborah Prandival. I'm involved on quite a few different levels. Of course, the landscaping side, that's what I love doing. Creating places, wedding ceremony sites, upgrading the lakes and the gardens. People love to stroll through around the gardens and the trees. Seeing the Sandalford sign when they come in, the beautiful car park with our magnificent plane trees to welcome you to be able to walk around into the restaurant where you know you're going to get beautiful food. Mm -hmm. 
and just see the ambiance of the vines and the, the old table grapes that were planted in 1890 and just take it all in. We wanted to recreate what was done all those years ago. I'm Garrett Prendival and my family owns Sandford Wines and have done so since 1991. I grew up being around vines and wine and wineries and viticulture and it's in my DNA. From a young age we grew up behind the machine harvester and hand picking fruit uh, during school holidays, cleaning out wine tanks and learning a lot about the viticultural processes in the vineyards. Vintage kicks off around January and goes through to April. After that, the vines head towards winter and dormancy, where they'll shed their uh, green foliage and will go through trellising and pruning season. And spring will hit, they'll rise like the phoenix out of the ashes and begin to bear fruit uh, through what we call bud burst, and then we'll head into vintage all over again, year in, year out. There is a reason why we make so many different types of wines, and that's because there is no right wine for everybody. And you know, for us, we love to make wines, not just for one particular type of drinker, but multiple ways. That's the beauty of wine, that there is no right wine, and there is no right way. The wine experience at the Sandiford Cellar Door is first class. We have a wonderful team of individuals that are well versed not only in winemaking but also viticultural practices. We have wonderful suspended walkways that cover the entire winery that give customers and guests a first hand look into just about what it takes I suppose to transition a berry into a glass. We're passionate about the opportunity and the history of this site. In fact, I don't know anywhere in the world that has got the attributes that Santa Fe has.